What's up guys, it's James here from J Ray Games and today I am going to show you how to set up your PSVR to your PC step by step with troubleshooting. I know I got a lot of requests for this video. I've been really busy and I wanted to make sure I did it right. I got everything updated and so if you've seen my old videos and it didn't work for you for whatever reason, Hopefully this is going to work just perfectly, so stay tuned, you don't want to miss this one. Okay guys, well we're here and you can see I got my PC up on my computer because what I want to do is I want to go through step by step and I apologize if I go slow, I just don't want to miss a step. I'm going to treat this as if you have, for the first time, got your PSVR and you don't know what the heck to do with it and how to hook it up and we're gonna go through some troubleshooting here you're gonna make sure you have to be in the right spots and the right slots in order for this to work so we're gonna go through very carefully I'm gonna to switch to kind of a point of view camera so you can see exactly what I'm doing again I apologize if I'm going too slow but I want to make sure that as many people out there get this to work because it is an awesome experience it's something that you're going to want to use all the time and that's why I feel like it's important alright so let's jump into it okay so here we are and let's say you just bought your PSVR and you're all excited to play your Vive or Rift games and uh, as you can tell I barely have anything plugged in at this point all I've got is the power supply um, I've got my keyboard, I got my Bluetooth adapter, which you don't really need unless you're going to be using move controllers. Um, I've got my mouse plugged into the front of the computer, but for the most part, nothing's really plugged in yet. And here's the box that you're going to get when you have your PSVR. And I've already gone ahead and hooked up the headset to the connection box okay that goes to the headset and on the front of the box same sort of looking connectors I've hooked those up as well I've also gone ahead and hooked up the power cord because I'm assuming everybody knows how to plug something in at this point so that's plugged in as well alright now the first thing I want to do is I want to show you the back of the computer here I just want to start by saying and I've said this before in my comments and in my videos I don't have an amazing computer but it does a really good job with VR uh, I keep it really clean and running good for for the purposes of VR uh, it's an i5-4460 uh, it's got 16 gigs of DDR3 RAM it's got GTX 960 in there so it's not a super computer and it's actually not even that fast of a computer by today's standards anyways. But I do want to show you that this works really well. So first things first, we're going to look at the back of the box. And you will see a connection here that says HDMI PS4. So we're going to hook up our HDMI cable to that. I'm going to start with that. And on the other end of things, there it is. We're going to plug it in. Now it's very important where you plug it in. Because up here, you have an HDMI connection that's coming off the motherboard. You don't want to use that one. That one won't work. You want to come down to where your video card is. And this is where my 960, uh, GTX 960 card is. And you can see that on the video card, there is a spot for HDMI. And I'm just going to put it in right there. Now, my monitor... This is my monitor connection is running a DVI cable. And so I don't know for sure, I can't say for sure, whether or not you can have two HDMI uh, ports connected, but I have heard people have problems with that. I've heard that people have had issues with using two HDMI cables on the same card. Some people will use their monitor and their headset on HDMI I can't say for certain if that's going to give you an issue or not because I don't have that set up okay so there's HDMI set up correctly now the other connection so now we got our power we got our HDMI like I said coming off of the PS4 hookup this one is optional 
This is if you want to go out to a TV for, to let people see what you're, you're seeing. This one is your USB. And like I said, this isn't rocket science, but let me get the USB connector here. Sorry. Okay, there's my USB connector. And preferably a USB 3 port, okay, a fast port. So I'm going to go up here. Would be good. I don't like to go through a USB switch. I don't like going through a hub for this. I find it works better if it's directly connected. And now on this side of things, you are connected. Everything is correct. Everything's done right. And you can see there's a red light on the front. It means it's getting power. And the headset is there. Obviously, we're going to be looking at that in a second. But everything is correctly hooked up from the back of the machine here in order to play VR. So what we're going to do now is we're going to switch to the uh, monitor to actually look at the desktop. I'm going to load this, uh, start the computer up, and then we're going to look at the actual settings within Windows to get it to recognize it. Okay, we're on the uh, desktop now. We've got everything hooked up correctly, and we have not turned on the PlayStation VR just yet. And what I'm going to do really quickly before I even get started, before I even do anything is I'm going to go into my display settings and I'm just going to check that I have just one display selected and it's number one if I go to identify it is number one that's my primary display and before I hook up the the headset before I don't want to screw up anything I want it to work right away I'm going to go into advanced display settings and I'm going to make sure that my resolution is 1920 by 1080. It's very important because you need to match your monitor size, the resolution of your monitor to that of the headset. And this sometimes is a problem for some people because they don't have that resolution as an option. And so, you know, I want to make sure that I'm very clear that you need to match that display setting otherwise you're going to get all sorts of weird issues you'll have your display go off the side sometimes it'll be too short it'll look like it's overlapping so all sorts of issues that occur when you don't match up the resolution of the headset okay uh, now what we're going to do is we're just going to close that off and on the cable of your PSVR you have a white power block it also controls the volume okay the volume is going to be disabled on the PC, but we're going to put the headset on a steady, even, flat surface. And when we do this, we're going to turn the power button on, and you should see a flash on your screen. That means that your computer is detecting a secondary display. So let's see if that happens. You'll hear a beep. Your headset should become active. The lights should turn on. Mine just turned on. My screen just flashed. I don't know if that showed in the video. But now when I right click and I go to my display settings, I now see two displays. So it has detected the PlayStation VR as a secondary display. And if I hit identify, this display has now become two because it got pushed over by the PSVR, which is number one. Now it's important that you make sure that you keep number two as your main display. All right, you don't want to screw up the computer thinking that the VR is your main display. You want to make sure this one stays as your main display. If you're playing Steam VR games or Oculus Rift games, you're going to want to extend these displays <clears throat> turned on. Sorry, that's important, very important. Okay, now everything's looking good from a hardware point of view. But now we're going to go into the software and actually get it to start using the headset. Okay, so I'm going to close this off. Okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to get ready to hook up our, uh, our PlayStation VR to the computer. And we're going to need Trinus PSVR in order to do that. I'm going to assume that you know how to install the program after you've downloaded it. That shouldn't be a problem. Let me just close that off. So once you have it installed, you should have a shortcut showing up on your desktop. Now before you do this, for some people, it was reported that with GeForce cards, you should set your pixels to RGB444. I personally did not have that problem, 
but you can look it up uh, online. It tells you exactly how to set that up. Uh, I never had that issue, so I don't have any experience setting that. One other thing I wanted to mention is that I'm running Razer Cortex. If you've never used this program, it's completely free and it's great. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but it boosts your computer to get you the best performance so that your games are going to run nice and smooth and you're not going to have any problems. All right, once you've got that all working, before you open up Trinus, you're going to want to right click it, okay, and run it as an administrator. Now, when I do this, I'm going to lose you. It's going to flash my screen. We're just going to run as administrator. We're going to say yes, and then we'll come back. Okay, just hit yes. Trinus opens up. Now, if this is your first time running Trinus, you're probably going to see this screen. And this is exactly what we just went through in the video where I was showing you how to hook it up to your PC. All right, I just went through it with you. But the important part here is the install option. You want to make sure that your Trinus PSVR drivers are installed to the Steam VR folder. And you're going to click install. You're going to point it to program files Steam Steam apps common Steam VR. Okay, actually, I think it just asks you to point it to the Steam folder. It figures out the rest. But it's important that you put the drivers in before you even attempt this. Otherwise, it will not work. Okay, there's a couple interesting things here about room scaling and, and uh, for positional tracking and how to set it up and so on. But we're going to go through all that, so no problem. We're going to go back to the main. And like I said, we want to make sure that the lights are on on our headset. And we want to make sure that it is sitting on a level surface. And once we've got that ready to go, we're also going to notice that we have our displays right here. And if you remember, the VR became display one. It should figure this out automatically. If it doesn't, well, you can set it. Uh, the mode was going to be VR. We could also watch movies, cinematic mode. We can also look up here. We can have mouse mode for side-by-side -side games or games that weren't meant for VR. We're going to keep it in Steam VR. We're going to keep it simple for this video. Uh, we got a few other things. We got our rotational scale, okay? So that's the sensitivity of the head tracking. We got the IPD slider. This is very important. You can adjust the clarity of your picture by adjusting the IPD slider, okay? Reset view. Let's say you get a bit of drift. You can reset it. You can also bind this to a key so that it resets for you forward how zoomed in or how close or how forward you are in your seat the height of your person in the game and you can use your mouse wheel to change this forward that's what i'm doing right now and that allows you to kind of zoom in and zoom out if you're in a game where uh you know you want things to be a little clear maybe they're too far away you can change that pretty easily but once you've got all that okay we're not going to go into any of this you can hit start and It'll say calibrating sensors, everything kind of comes alive on the headset, and right away we're going to see some numbers showing up here. And that's just telling you that it has calibrated for a nice, flat, even surface like what we've got right here. All right, so as far as the computer is concerned, everything's working in the headset right now. Okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to run Steam. And we're going to get it so that uh, we run it as administrator, just like with Trinus. So we're going to right click it, run as administrator. I'm going to lose you for a second here. I'm just going to click yes. And Steam should load up. You probably will not have Steam VR installed by default. Um, I believe it installs automatically if you download a VR game. I don't remember having to install it. It installs by itself. But uh, we are now going to just close this up. And uh, we're going to get ready to play our games. Now, if you did have a problem, I'm just thinking about this. If you did have a problem installing your driver, what I recommend you do before you go into Trinus is load up Steam install steam vr and then make sure that it puts the drivers where they need to be it's possible you might get an error if you haven't installed steam vr first so you got to make sure you watch for that now that you're in steam vr uh, sorry you're in steam we've got our vr games here ready to play 
but I'm not going to click these. I'm not going to start them up just yet. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move Steam out of the way. And now you can see I've got my Steam VR on my desktop ready to go. And I'm going to run this as administrator. But what I had to do is I actually had to go into the Steam folder, find the Steam VR executable, and actually check off start as administrator. So I'm going to double click that. It's going to go black and I'm going to say yes. And you're going to see that the window opens up with a double screen like what you see here. It's a stereoscopic image. And that tells us that it is detecting a headset connected. Now, before you do this, okay, chances are if you don't see this, if you can't get to this window just yet, you might have to go through the room setup. Okay, and I'm going to show you what the process is for that. So I'm just going to switch back to my Steam. And it's okay if we leave that headset window there, but I'm going to go down to my taskbar here, and I'm going to right click my VR uh, icon on the taskbar, and I'm going to go Run Room Setup. And you only have to do this one time. It's pretty simple. All right, uh, we're going to the, the Steam Room Setup. It should launch. Here we go. And for this tutorial, we're going to do standing only, just to simplify things. Standing only, headset's ready, we're going to click next, calibrate center. It's, actually, it's not going to actually work, but we're going to click it. It's going to think that it's doing it to the PSVR. We're going to hit next. And this is important. You want to calibrate it by measuring the distance from the floor to your headset. Okay, and I'm in inches here. I'm going to go 35 because I believe that's what it was. And we're going to hit calibrate. And what this is going to do is going to help to make sure that the height that you are in the VR looks right to, you know, how you're sitting or how you're standing. So we're going to calibrate that, let it do its thing. And he's going to go and he's going to do some dance. And, you know, it, 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 that's horrible dance. I'm sorry. But you can see that it's all set up, ready to go. And now we can hit done. Okay. Coming back to this. Uh, you can see that everything is loaded up and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold alt I'm going to press the tab button and I'm going to switch to my headset window which is right here this double view I want to show you something when I pick up the headset when I turn the headset it is following all the movements of the VR headset because it is using the gyro rotational information to detect the up and down and the left and right unfortunately you'd have to follow my other video to get positional as well but this works beautifully for a lot of games for many games you're gonna have a lot of fun with this even just straight connecting it like this and you can see that it's super easy it didn't take me very long what we're gonna do is we're going to have to send the stereoscopic view that we see here to the headset and this seems to be where a lot of people mess up. So here's what we're going to do. Alt-Tab. I'm going to just double check that my headset window is the active window. And what we're going to do is send it to the headset. And the way you do that, hold Shift, hold Windows, and press the right, right arrow. And it's going to disappear from your screen. And what you basically did is you just sent that room that we saw over to inside the headset. Okay, so now if I look inside the headset, I know you guys can't see, but that grid is now inside here. And that also means that the games are ready to play inside there as well. Now just to show you that this is working, I'm going to go and right click my VR and I'm going to turn on display mirror so you can see what's inside the headset right now. And there it is. And as you can see, as I rotate my view and as I look around, it's following my head movements perfectly. Okay, we now have the hardest part of the setup done and out of the way. You never have to do room setup again. Uh, from now on, you just have to run it like this and it's going to work. We're ready to play a game. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to my Steam and I'm going to switch my library, it already is on VR. 
Okay, we're gonna play a simple game. It's called Poly Runner VR, and uh, simple game, free to play, just to show you that it works great. And so I'm going to right click that, and I'm going to play game, and you should see it launching, and it's going to tell us that it's starting it up. And right now, what it's doing is it's sending the game to our headset. All right, and if we look at the mirror window, you can see that it's telling us that it is playing inside there, and I can see that it is. So I'm going to switch to my headset now to actually test this out. And you can see that it looks, well, you can't see what I see, but it looks awesome. And here we go. Okay, I'm using my gamepad. If you have not played this game, you can play it in a variety of ways. You can use your head to tilt to control the ship. Uh, you can use the mouse and keyboard. Uh, or you can use the gamepad like what I'm doing here, but it works great. It's an excellent game to just kind of test out your uh, VR headset, excuse me, to make sure that everything's working properly. But as you can see, I don't know if you can see the mirror, but as I turn my head, everything is tracking beautifully, rotationally, and uh, I'm able to use, like I said, use the headset just as you would if it was a, a Vive or a Rift, no problem. Uh, it, it works fantastic. Now this may not be the best game. Oh, and I died. This may not be the best game to use as an example, but you can see that it works. It works perfectly. Just going to restart. I know you guys probably don't want to see me die over and over again because I'm not very good at it. But this is a great game just to kind of, it's free, just to kind of test out to make sure everything's working right, make sure your rotation's working right. Um, and it just shows you that you don't need a fast computer you don't necessarily need to have a monster gaming machine in order to make this work okay a lot of the games will give you warnings they'll say that your specs aren't up to date but they're still going to work and they're gonna work great you can lower the settings you can lower the quality I'm sorry guys that was horrible I'm trying to con concentrate on what I'm saying here and playing at once it does not work okay but as you can see this works awesome it works just as good as having a Vive or a Rift and uh, you can play all of those games and all of those libraries easily using your PSVR okay uh, anyways I hope you found that useful make sure you check out Trinus PSVR if you've got a VR headset you owe it to yourself to try these other libraries of games they're fantastic it's going to give you so many more options of things to play with your PC, uh, PSVR and you know as you guys know the library of games on the PS4 is growing there's tons of great games this gives you the advantage of being able to play all of the PC games as well awesome anyways till next time thanks for watching I hope this gets you guys up and playing see you in the VR world till next time see you later